Ready? Yes. You're rolling? Yep. Okay, everything's good, we're sure. Okay. So. Okay, I'm not gonna just, we're not doing this again. Okay. So today we're talking about why we have political, uh-oh, my wedding ring. I'm gotta get used to that. Group of individuals that make policy related appeals. So that's why political parties exist, but. So let's look at three reasons why we have political parties. One, just cause. Two, I don't know. And three, let's go to the bar. Party affiliation can help legislators who represent very different geographic and social interests work together. <coughs> Excuse me. Heartfelt apology for that burp. And since in many districts, take a breath, take a breath. Partly because there were almost universal agreement, was almost universal agreement, that the first president of the U.S. should be Jorge Washington. Ah! Oh, beard fly! Ah! Favored the more revolutionary French with their frites and their foie gras. It was all food-based decision-making back then. Falling apart, guys. We're falling apart. I'm doing great. And they remain one of the most consistent groups in terms of their party affili affiliation. Philly, Philly. That was the last word, and that it's often historical contingency, contingencies that cause these shifts. Also take away that the word contingencies is hard to say. But one more thing about interest groups and bureaucracies. Bureaucracy. Sort of like the idea of wisdom of crowds or Condorcet's jury theorem, with more interest groups providing more in huh, we will get huh, flibbity blue. People will say that in the US, labor is well represented through blah, 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 pow, bing, bang, boop. Politicians hope that but most people still think of it as providing campaign contributions in return for favorable policy outcomes. <sighs> There's no real evidence of this quid pro quo. Po. There's no real evidence of this quid, it's so hard to say. Quid pro quo. It's a little bit tricky to write about how the internet affects politics because it's a changing, it's a change in so rapidly. It's, a, I say, it's a, it's a change in so rapidly. Some of you might be saying, Craig, get real. The government doesn't regulate the media. We live in a free market. <laughs> yeah. Craig and politically minded economists. <laughs> Rail Rail railroads were. Railroad. Bring it in. Bring it in. I'm the media. I'm the media. <sighs> trucks! Trucks! We, there should be an interest group against trucks. It, there probably is. Ain't gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. No whole re election. Ain't gonna. Dana Carvey, everybody remember him? Oh, I'm not gonna discuss the details of the theory or even whether it's right or wrong because it's stupid and wrong. Ready? I, th I thought you were ready! Are you recording? Yeah. I'm picking my nose, so. Blooper reel. A free ride! Like Savage Garden, my favorite band from the, ni <laughs> from the 90s. Have you seen the show, Hoarders? Uh, yeah. Whew, it'll motivate you to clean. I, I need to punch that eagle here pretty soon. Can I do this one as a movie narrator, Stan? I will. Part of the 1996 telecommunications law. Okay, no I won't. China and I have been watching the Gilmore Girls. It's, it is, it is super good. You know, that Max guy has bad hair. She should get together with Luke. Okay. Oh no! Oh no. Because that's the main way the Fed controls the money supply. <laughs> Bless you, Stan. Thank you. I think I made it in time. You did, but you almost interrupted me. Okay. Never again, Stan. That's it, I'm only doing three more of these. Let's try to talk like Hank. And it can be caused by a number of things. <laughs> more like quantitative wheezing, am I right? I hope this series on American government and politics has provided you with a little bit of understanding about the way the US works and that it encourages everyone to participate in the political process wherever you live. Except for you, you stupid eagle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I saw that. Crash course is made with the help of all of these hardline. Is this the right direction? Mm -hmm. Dang it. Government and Politics is produced in association with PBS Digital Studios. Support for Crash Course U.S. Government comes from Vocal. Vocal supports nonprofits that use technology and media at, ah, and media to advance social equity. Uh, you think I'd have this memorized by now? 